Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So today then we're going to be looking at three different dropshipping stores, each that have done seven figures in sales in their own right. And we're just going to be looking at the kind of things that we can learn from them. So we're going to be looking at their store, their best selling products, their Facebook ads. But before we get into store number one, then I just want to mention quickly, as always, I am going to wait a free one to one call with me on this video. If you want to enter the draw, then all you have to do is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on my previous video, then just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced and that being said then guys let's get straight into store number one so this is store number one then they're called keen and social now in case you're wondering where i find these stores it's simply the exchange marketplace.com um, it's where people come to sell their shopify stores and you can filter by if i just show you them business type and you can go by drop shipping um, so you know exactly what the stores do and you know exactly what they turn over to because the numbers can't be fudged if we scroll down um, just to quickly show you, it's all verified by Shopify, so it's legit sales. Um, so it's really good place to come to find information on competing stores. Um, so anyway, the first one I want to show you then, Keenan Social. Um, if we just head over to their website, um, I'll take you to the home page. Um, just so you can see the kind of like design and layout of the page. The reason I wanted to show you this one so much is because in my opinion, um, it actually looks quite amateurish, but if we look at their sales numbers, they've did over 3 million, I think, so 3.1 million. Um, and it's just kind of a proof that you don't have to put a lot of time into your store um, to get effective results. And I just wanna show you too, is that the, the theme they're using is Brooklyn, which is actually a free theme. So you don't actually have to invest in a paid theme either um, to produce some pretty decent numbers so as we can see then the store looks pretty basic um, then the, the next thing I want to show you though is actually their best selling product and the actual product page which is these leggings here so it's $40 these leggings are really expensive actually in fact we'll try and find them on Aliexpress after this I um, mean if we just have a look at the product page like it actually looks really basic but as you can see you don't actually have to have like a really professional looking page. Now obviously it won't hurt to have a really professional page, but to do over 3 million and the majority of the sales come from this product and just look at the product page. It, it isn't great, but it just shows like, as long as you've got a really good product and a really good Facebook campaign, um, like they're the two kind of main ingredients that you need. So I just did a quick search on AliExpress for pleated leggings and it took me like literally 10 seconds to find these. Um, and as you can see, the profit margins are just crazy. It's the same product, all in these different colors, uh, but the sale price is 10 pounds. Let's see what uh, shipping is to the UK. So four pounds, so you're looking at about 15 pound delivered to the customer, they're selling them for $40. So it's even got really good profit margins too. So it just shows that a decent product with a decent campaign um, and a half decent store really at best um, can produce just amazing results. So if we just head over to their Facebook page, just to see if they are running any ads to see what the kind of ads look like that produce those sorts of numbers um, but i'm always intrigued as well to look at the kind of posts they put on their page the kind of content as you can see they've got 50,000 followers which is decent um, and just the kind of structure because you'll find that a lot of pages will stick to the same kind of structure and template of their posts so you can see there's some kind of like engaging first line then there's a short url um, same kind of setup here and just kind of if we just let this load up same kind of setup um, and then something just kind of out of the blue just some kind of like car seat cover and then if we go into the info and ads to see if they're running any ads so they're not running any ads at the moment um, but it's always worth having a look just at the way they structure their posts because by the looks of things they just use images and then kind of like the same layout so some kind of question or statement followed by a short url so again it shows you don't really have to put that much time and effort into what you're doing you just like the key ingredient that can make the difference between failure and success is who you're targeting on Facebook um, and the actual strategy you're using. So anyway, that was store number one. Hopefully you guys found it useful. Let's get straight into store number two. So this is store number two then. Average monthly revenue 40K. They're asking 20K for purchase price, but their total revenue then is 1.3 million. So as we can see, still a seven figure store. Um, so let's just head over to their website then and see what we've got. So to me, I think this is probably a shop optimized website if we have a look. Turbo, which is like a shop optimized theme, um, and it, it looks a lot better than what we've just seen, but it's still not great to be honest. And as you can see, like these are 100% AliExpress dropshipping products. Um, let's just go straight to their best sellers then. 
So the best selling products is this tattoo arm sleeve. Then you've got like this makeup cover, some concealer, the pet glove. Um, I was talking to somebody recently about this glove. So these are the best selling products then. Um, let's just have a look at the product page. It's always worth having a look at the product pages because essentially that's gonna be like the first introduction to your customer. That's what the customer's gonna see first. Um, so this is essentially the page which is most important in my opinion um, on your store. And to be honest, it looks pretty good as I would expect with it being a Shoptimize theme. The Shoptimize product pages um, are just unbeatable in my opinion. So they've got like a video which works, which is pretty cool, all these different product images. Um, and if we scroll down, they've got reviews too, which is always um, a key ingredient again to a successful product page. So if we scroll to the bottom then, let's try and find their Facebook page and just have a look at the kind of content and hopefully the ads they're, they're currently running too. Over 100,000 likes then, which is good. Um, and one thing I want to point out as well is that these guys are clearly a general store. Um, there's been a lot like, general stores get a lot of bad press, but I, and I don't know why, to be honest, as long as you've got a good product, a good campaign and decent product page, that's all that matters. People aren't going to stop buying from you because you sell other types of products. Um, so yeah, I don't really understand why they get the bad press. But anyway, let's have a look at what kind of ads they're running. So these guys aren't running any ads either, actually, which is surprising so let's just have a quick look at the content the kind of posts they put out so let's just have a quick look then at the kind of content they're posting um, these guys got over a hundred thousand likes as well so just a simple post um, should bring in like some pretty decent numbers for them so changing profile nothing really that interesting we've got some sort of video full body pillow looks like they've made that themselves too now that is a really important thing as well that people underrate is that making your own video ad something like this that actually shows the product being used by a real human being, um, makes all the difference. We've got like some LED strip lights, and then some spinner cell phone thing. And then let's just have a quick look at a couple more. Dog toy car, no way, that is so cool. So yeah, that's a pretty cool product. In fact, I just want to talk about this car for a second because um, in my opinion, it just kind of summarizes what makes a really good product for Facebook and social media. And essentially that is what I call a social product. And social products are things like this that people look at and that people look at and they say, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, and because it's cool, they wanna share it with other people. And that is the key. Try and think, when you're thinking of products to sell, rather than think, would someone buy this? Think, would somebody share this? So would this post or would this video, does it have potential to go viral? Would somebody want to show somebody this? Because that should be kind of like your main focus because if you can like drum up a lot of attention by people sharing and commenting, then you're going to make the sales and they're kind of like the key ingredients to a successful product. And with that being said, then let's move on to the third store. And this is an interesting store and these guys are running ads and it's quite an interesting strategy that they're using as well. Um, so I think you find it quite interesting. But anyway, let's have a quick look at their store then. Um, it looks a bit better than the first one we looked at, but as you can see, it still looks pretty basic. And um, let's have a look at what theme they're using. It looks like a paid one, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, Commerce Inspector isn't working at the moment. I'm just gonna refresh it quickly. Let's have a look. So it's Turbo with Bold Currency. Ah, right, that's interesting. So let's have a look at their best selling products then. The LED dead color, believe it or not. Um, some sort of like poor things you can put in your van. Um, like about $15. They've got like a dog seat belt. Um, all kind of like the stereotypical drop shipping products you would expect actually. Um, I've seen all of these before and actually sold a couple of them myself. So anyway, what I want to show you about these guys is number one is the amount of traffic they're getting. So you can see that they're legit. Um, this is similar web, by the way. You can do this for pretty much any website. As long as they get a significant amount of traffic, um, it's going to give you all this interesting data you can use. And if we just have a quick look, so October, since uh, 120,000, 85, 130, 140, 110. So these guys are consistently averaging about 100,000 visits a month, which is really good. Um, you can have a look at the country as well, so you can see exactly where these people are coming from. Um, so majority is obviously America. And if we scroll down, then there's loads of other information too that they give us. Um, so we can see like where the traffic's coming from, and this is desktop. You can see referrals. Um, you can see all sorts of kind of different information. Definitely a worthwhile tool. Something I wanted to, to mention in the video, because when you are doing product research and looking at different stores, um, definitely worth checking out. So if we just have a look at their Facebook page then, just to see the kind of ads they're running, uh, we'll have a look at the content first. So over 300,000 likes again, which is really good. Um, 
Simply these guys just putting out a post with 300,000 likes, it's got to bring in sales. And that is the importance of building a brand and building a following because when you have like this amount of people, then you don't essentially have to spend money to make money. Simply putting out a post on your page for free is just, it's going to bring in sales. So um, definitely something to consider. So these guys are advertising as giveaways. Um, let's just open it up in fact and let's see what it says. Uh, so they're doing a free plus shipping offer. Um, there's not a lot of people still using that strategy, so it must still be working for these guys. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it. Um, and if we scroll down, it seems to be kind of like the common technique they use. Um, almost on every product, in fact, free giveaway. Um, some kind of like funny post, free giveaway. Um, so that seems to be like the kind of thing they're going for. And if we just have a look at their info and ads too. Um, so this is ads just in the UK, by the way, and again, free giveaway. But if we actually click on it, then I'm assuming it'll be a free plus shipping offer, which it is. So they've got, they're saying that it should be £30 crossed out as free um, and they're doing a free plus shipping offer. So these guys are absolutely smashing it with free plus shipping. Just to double check these guys are drop shipping these too. Um, I literally head over to AliExpress and it took me like five seconds to find these. Um, so they're a pound then, as you can see, delivered. Um, these guys were selling them at, so they're selling them free. And let, in fact, let's see what they're charging for shipping. Uh, let's go to checkout and see how far we have to go before they'll tell us calculate the next step. So in fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill these out um, and move on to the next step. So here we are then on the next step. As we can see, they're only charging $8 for shipping. So I think given that, I think the kind of strategy they're going for is using free plus shipping methods. They're probably using really low budgets. Um, and probably traffic campaigns too, but just to try and basically build up their following on Facebook. If we just go back to the homepage, because they've got so many likes, I think that's the strategy they're going for, just to bring in as much following as likes as possible. So when they do put out these organic posts, they can make money on the back end that way. And that's quite an important note, in fact, to consider is that even if you don't make money necessarily on the front end, so when you put out an ad, if it doesn't necessarily bring in your profit, it doesn't really matter. If you can find other ways to kind of make money on the back end, then that's definitely one of the keys to running a successful and profitable business for a sustainable amount of time. Facebook ads can be really difficult sometimes to bring in money initially, but as long as you keep track of your average order values and how much your average customer is worth, it's called customer lifetime value. I could do a video on it if you want to. Um, then the whole game becomes a lot easier because if you're acquiring customers for say 15 pounds, but you're making a loss on the front end, but then you know every customer is worth 20 pounds in the long term, then you know that you're still gonna make a profit in the long run, if that makes sense. But anyway, that's completely another video. Um, and with that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. If you're still watching the video, hopefully you found it useful. Um, if you did, then awesome. All I ask is that you please do leave the video a like. Um, and if you wanna be entered into that draw then for a chance to win a one-to-one -one call, just make sure you leave a comment down below as well. And with that being said then, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. So here we are then guys on my previous video. Um, it, it was a short term dropshipping strategy. If you guys wanna see kind of like the flip side of that, like a long term one, then make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. So I'm just gonna take the URL then on top left, copy it, head over to our random comment picker, uh, get YouTube comments, 70 unique comments, which is awesome. In fact, I think that's a record. So thank you very much guys. We have just passed 5,000 subs as well, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you. And the winner then of the previous video is Kyle Bartlett. Awesome video, Jack. So thank you very much. Um, reach out to me on Instagram then, Carl, and we can get that call arranged. And guys, if you just wanna get straight down to business, instead of constantly trying your luck and just book a call straight away, then you can actually do so. There is a link in the video description down below. Um, so make sure you go and check that one out. And that being said then, guys, thank you once again for tuning in for another video, um, and I'll see you in the next one.